Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Today's episode will mostly consist of Starship updates, but we do have a few SpaceX updates as well. Lots of stuff has been happening since the last episode, SN4, SN5 and loads of tweets from Elon Musk, so let's head straight in and get up to date. First up, some information on Starlink 6. I forgot to include this in my last video, but as some of you will have noticed, there was no Starlink 6 launch on April 16th. This launch was recently changed to April 23rd at 7.16pm UTC or 3.16pm EDT. The vehicle was recently rolled out to the pad for a successful static fire on April 17th. In other SpaceX news, Bob Benken and Doug Hurley have been given their titles for the Demo 2 mission. Eric Berger recently tweeted, for the first time NASA has released titles for the Demo 2 mission. Doug Hurley will be spacecraft commander whereas Bob Benken will be joint operations commander. Effectively this means that Hurley commands the vehicle when in flight. Also, Jim Bridenstine tweeted that the launch is scheduled for May 27th so now we have a day and I can't express how excited I am for this mission. Let's see what SpaceX stuff Elon Musk has been tweeting. There were a bunch of tweets in a thread that led up to Elon Musk tweeting about how much cheaper it is to insure a Falcon 9 versus other rockets. He tweeted that the last time he checked, Falcon 9 missions were over a million dollars cheaper to insure than other launch system missions. When asked by John Krauss how much SpaceX hardware is produced in the US, Elon Musk responded with all. However, I do believe that some components are not built in-house, but I'm guessing this tweet means that even those components are US made. Now, let's take a look at Starship and Raptor updates. Musk said that the company has reached serial number 26 in Raptor production. Whether this means that SN26 is built or being developed, I don't know. However, it's amazing to see the speed at which these are being produced, with SpaceX's eventual goal being to produce one Raptor per day. He was also asked about a recent engine test in McGregor and which engine it was, responding with, Raptor is going through many development tests, Merlin is doing acceptance tests as the design is stable, depending on how you count them there are about 6 engine stands operating in parallel. Musk also reiterated on how hard Starship production is, saying that it was by far the hardest part of the whole process. Previously, when talking about Tesla manufacturing issues, Musk said even for rocket sites, it's probably a factor of 10 harder to design a manufacturing system for a rocket than to design the rocket. Today, he was asked whether or not the nose cone header tank would be moved. Musk said, no, oxygen header tank in nose is important to keep center of mass forward during atmospheric entry. Then, when asked if this would change for crude versions, he said, no, as the header tanks are quite small relative to main, approximately 30 tons versus 1200 tons, only uses very tip of nose. Let's see some Starship SN4 and SN5 tweets from Elon Musk. During his tweeting session, Musk confirmed that the SN4 vehicle is almost complete, suggesting we could see testing in the next week or so. Musk responded to a tweet which said, everything crossed for SN4 this time with that's for sure and a cold sweat smile emoji. Falcon 1 took 4 flights to reach orbit and so I'm going to say that the 4th prototype SN4 will be the one that fires its engines first. I was originally hoping that SN4 would have a nose cone and control surfaces but was also sceptical given that we've only seen tanks so far being tested. Elon Musk has confirmed that SN4 will not have flaps and so can only do flights with engines on, so that possibly brings a nose cone attachment out of the question. He went on to say that in the last week he has done a reset on flap, actuator and static aero design, so I wonder what will change there. He also said that either SN5 or SN6 will get flaps, so very exciting times ahead. Today, Musk also said that the redesign was being done for mass reduction and simplicity. Also, he elaborated saying trying to have fewer parts so strakes are unlikely, some very counterintuitive CFD results in both hypersonic and subsonic regimes, Starship does controlled falling more than flying. When asked how different the new parts will be compared with what we saw on Mark 1, Musk said that they would be similar but seemingly small changes can have surprisingly big effects. Also, when asked which stage of testing should be most affected by the recent changes, he said SN5. Just quickly, before we jump into Starship construction progress, I'll show you something at the launch pad. It appears that SN4 will probably undergo a hydraulic ram test like SN3 did, as they've once again installed the metal stand for the rams. Now, onto the construction of the prototypes. 
Obviously we weren't expecting SpaceX to wait around too long before rolling the thrust section back out and that's exactly what they did. Shortly after I released the last episode the bottom section was once again rolled out but this time for stacking. At some point SpaceX also sneakily added further rings to the engine section using what appears to be the rings from SM3's thrust section. Here is a more detailed look at the SM4 engine section where you can see those SM3 rings. I think it's really cool that SpaceX are already reusing parts of Starship vehicles and the thing hasn't even flown yet. Then, once all was ready, the whole tank section was mated to form what I'm assuming is the entirety of SM4. I expect that soon we might see some Cameron County road and beach closures in preparation for the SM4 testing. I'm going to move this part of the video here since it makes more sense. Here is the latest SM4 build diagram from Raphael Adami. I'm also guessing that the Raptors still need to be attached but I'm also assuming that it won't happen until after the pressure tests. Finally, let's see what is happening on the SM5 side of things as the vehicle is coming together very quickly. Last episode we saw these three bulkheads at this stage of the development coming along very nicely. However, now they've obviously progressed a lot more and are looking like they could be getting very near completion. Elsewhere in the yard, in another onion tent, a ring section for SM5 has been spotted. Here you can see that section sitting in this tent, it's not really much to look at but regardless it's interesting to see. Whilst Mary was filming this, another ring was rolled past so I wonder where that is headed, maybe SM4 or SM5? Could it even be for SM6? I have no idea. One more thing that I want to show you is with the same tent, a thrust section was also spotted next to the SM5 ring section. I don't believe that this is an SM5 section though, I think that this might be the SM4 thrust section instead, but I could be wrong. Here's a nice close up of the two sections side by side. Whilst preparing to record this episode, new footage has come in of an SM5 upper bulkhead for the methane tank. This section literally appeared out of nowhere and I honestly didn't expect to see SM5 sections ready yet. The speed at which these engineers are progressing is just astounding. Once again, here is the latest SM5 build diagram from Raphael Adami before we finish up this episode. As always, a huge thank you to Mary Boca Chica Girl for her time and dedication by going out there to capture this amazing footage and to NASA Spaceflight for sharing these amazing insights. I love just watching this yard and rocket progress at such speed, which wouldn't be possible without you. Also, I want to extend a thank you to Raphael who helps us visualize these builds with his incredible diagrams. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.